Hello! This is plant lady Tess and today it's November 26th. Uh, I decided to make a video because I found out that some of my plants have spider mites and uh, not a lot of them are infected and I waited for the sun to come out because I decided to give them a shower or spray some of the plants that are really infected and then so I need the sun so they could uh, dry out naturally so I started already before doing this video but I'm going to show you how I did it especially with this uh, my calamansi my calamansi has a lot of them like uh, the leaves under the leaves there's uh, some white spots and then I think they're eggs and then some brown you know the red spider mites but before that uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel just subscribe and then please like and share and you can also do comments okay so we'll start with this plant so I will show you first I decided to cut some branches so it, it would be easy the ones that doesn't have flowers because they have flowers also like uh see this one can you see it see there's there's some fruit and some flowers and sometimes they would smell really good inside oh those are my birdies see the yellow one that's momo momo say hello to them ringo say hello and that's coco there and the blue one and they're just there uh, we close the cage because right now uh, Abby is cooking. So let's proceed. Okay, so I'll just cut some branches. And they will uh, make more branches. Uh, I think I need to yeah, cut this off. So I, would, I just have to spray only a few of the leaves. And then by the summer, there will be more branches to come out. Okay. Maybe I should cut the bottom also. See, the, the bottom has leaves also. I'm going to cut them off. And then I don't have to worry about the spider mice. Okay, I'll just cut all those lower branches there. So how about the top one? Should I trim it? Yes. Why not? I'll. Uh, should I do this? I'll, I'll leave this. So there's one node. Uh, maybe it would grow one more. You know, some branches. So I just have to spray some. And they finished already having fruit. So if they grow more branches, they would grow flowers and then fruit. This is my spray. This spray has water and a few drops of dishwasher soap and vinegar. And I set up my table here. I like the, the others, I did it in the bathroom. But if this one is big and I want to see how the leaves would be sprayed. I just have to, <laughs> there's a lot of water to mop this area. So I'll do it fast and I think they're effective also. I have to pull some plants at the bottom. I don't want them to get wet. Okay, so to continue and then after I, uh, I sprayed them properly with this vinegar, this water soap solution, I'm going to give it a very good thorough shower. I know they're there. So it's better to cut off more leaves. So less thing to do. Cut off this main branch here and this one here. There. Then the, the top one. So this is. Yeah. This, this is new. I, I love this uh, spray. It's really strong. And the branches. Don't forget the branches because 
a little while ago, I did it with my Zebrina, and there are only two leaves, and I did it, and then, but then I, sh the, the stems, the stems have it also, they have those thing, like a white spot or something, so I am done with the brushing, this would go to the shower, I'll show you the ones that, the one that I did, here, meet Sabrina did you can you see Sabrina see that's the leaf but look at the stem that's Sabrina see and I'm so happy that uh, it survived in my place and where is the new leaf this is the new leaf this one came out here see and here at the bottom there were a lot of white spots like the, maybe eggs so now it's clean it's shiny I gave it a very good shower and this one I sprayed it also and then uh, showered it so some of the plants are here I'll show you also so this I will uh, do the shower later on when others are done and this is my I have to shake this hello that's my fiddle leaf okay so that's it. I'll just bring this to the bathroom and give it a very good shower. Okay, bye. I'll see you again.